Hey everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to go over the Luminetri Color Corrector within Adobe After Effects CC 2018. Let's go ahead and jump into it. First thing we're going to do is go ahead and create a new composition. You can go ahead and name this uh, whatever you want. I'm going to name it Color Correct TL because uh, we're going to be working on a time lapse. And the clip's about 8 seconds, so keep the duration at 8 for this example. And uh, I'm going to press OK. Here's our new composition. It looks like it's open down here. And here's my clip. So I'm gonna drag the clip in there and it's gonna do its thing. It was filmed in 4K, so I'm gonna scale this back a little bit. Not that far. There, that looks pretty good. And I'm gonna go ahead and position it so I have a bit more water in there. I think that looks pretty cool. All right, so that looks good. Now we're ready to color correct this thing. So Adobe Premiere and Adobe After Effects has a effect called Lumetri color. And if you type in L-U-M or L-U-M-E-T-R-I, it'll appear. And uh, it's a great free color corrector that comes within these, uh, these applications that Adobe provides. And you can really do a lot with uh, clips and what have you so uh, we'll go ahead and add that to our clip and something that I like to do is select my clip and then just double click on the uh, effect that I want to add to it and for some reason it's scaled down my time lapse so we'll go ahead and scale it back in and yeah so now we could hop into the uh, color corrector so this has your basic correction, curve, creative, color wheels, HSL secondary, and vignetting settings. So basically they're just like little drop downs and it also allows you to input different types of lookup tables or LUTs. I don't really have any loaded because I don't necessarily use them too often, but for example, see it drastically changes our image, which could be used very powerfully and quickly depending on the turnaround for your project or what have you. So those are some lookup tables and you can also browse your computer and load them and you'll have your uh, your LUT loaded. So I don't know why it keeps on, that's weird. But anyways, there we go. So now we could jump into color correcting and I'm underneath of the basic color correction uh, tab and this is where you could change the temp, temp of your look but I'm not gonna really touch that. I think I'm gonna go and drop this contrast down just a little bit to make it a little bit more eerie, but not too eerie. And then I'm gonna bump these highlights up, it's sort of cool. And then play with the shadows some, probably drop these down, doesn't look too bad. I'll scale this in some, it's sort of cool. Um, maybe bump the whites up. And basically what this is doing, I'm just dragging from left to right, right to left with my mouse and I'm adjusting the contrast and the highlights, the shadows, which you can see adjust accordingly and then all the whites and I tweak the blacks within my image a little bit and I think we're on our way to something that looks sort of cool, at least in my opinion. So I'll bump up the saturation. And what you can also do is click within your number indicator here and press up or down on your uh, your keyboard and it adjusts accordingly. Um, that might be too much saturation. So we'll go for like 10 or so. I think that looks pretty, pretty cool. And also there's a creative dropdown where you can also load a look or pull a look from this preset of looks that Adobe After Effects provides us. So say if you want something like that, looks pretty wild for this, but it could be used. See, there's all these different looks that mimic Kodak film stock from what it seems. But I'm gonna go ahead and just Command Z, Command Z, and go back to none, go to my look just because and this is where you can also adjust the sharpness of your look it'll take a little bit to render with the computer at least for mine but and you can also adjust the vibrance maybe a little bit too vibrant maybe four 
and I don't necessarily use the creative tab too, too often for what I do, but it's available in there. And this correct color corrector also has a curves drop down, just like your typical curves graph. And what you can do to intensify the image even more is to create a S shape type curve. And sometimes that makes a bit more contrast within the image and, and yeah. And there's also the color wheel, which I don't typically use and this vignetting drop down. And sometimes this can be used pretty powerfully or it can be overused. So anyways, that's the uh, Lumetri color corrector within Adobe After Effects CC 2018. And see this little FX button up here? If you click on it, that reveals your color correction and what you did. So you can see a drastic difference between uh, what we had and what we have now. Anyways, yeah, that's how you color correct with the Luminetri color corrector within Adobe After Effects CC 2018. Anyways, guys, like always, thank you so much for watching. If you have any extra questions or special requests for videos or anything like that within Adobe Premiere, Adobe After Effects, Audition, basically the whole Adobe Creative Suite, please let me know in the comments below and feel free to subscribe write comments uh i love all that so anyways uh have a great day and thank you